Hey everyone, Adam Shaw here from EntrepreneurTenacity.com. Today I want to share with you guys uh, kind of the secret of financial freedom and what I've learned over the different years uh, and how I've actually, I I'm getting to the point where I'm becoming much more financially secure and I want to share you the different strategies. The Now, being financially free is where it essentially requires no time from you and you're generating uh, revenue while you sleep. And I call it passive income. If you can do that, you will be financially free. You win, essentially. And to get that financial freedom, you have to generate multiple streams of income. Now, you can do this in numerous different ways through royalties, uh, through products that you sell online, but some way, somehow, you have to generate income that doesn't require you to be there. It could be also rental properties. If you have a rental property and you have tenants, they're paying you money that it doesn't require you to do anything. That's financial freedom, and we're not being taught this in schools. We're not being taught this in college. We're not being taught this in high school. I can tell you that my college, I... I I learned nothing. I learned nothing uh, in college. And uh, these are basic skills that aren't being taught. And I feel like I need to, to put these skills out there and, and, and help other people because it's, it's so simple when you really think about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get an index card and show you what I mean. Okay. So... I don't know how familiar you are with multiple streams of income, but you're not taught this regularly. So let's say you want to generate uh, a couple of income sources online, and it's going to require some time to do so. It's going to require some hard work. But let's say you generate one website, and you get to the point where it's generating, let's say, about $200 a month. Nothing too much, but you can be making money off of AdWords or advertising from YouTube videos or maybe ad space from the amount of traffic that you're getting on your website. So we're going to do something modest, $200 a month. So we got cash flow, and that's doing give or take a little bit more, a little bit less. So $200 a month every single month, okay? Well... That thing is just turning, 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 $200 a month. It's pretty regular. It doesn't change that much. Let's say you go, okay, you know what? I want to expand, okay? I would like to do a print-on-demand marketplace. And essentially, with print-on-demand, you can take your own photography and put it onto products, onto a marketplace, and they sell, they're in a marketplace, they sell, and sometimes people promote you and they get a cut of it. So you create, you take your own photographs, hypothetically, you could also do artwork. Uh, you take your own photographs or artwork, you put them on, slap them on products, and you have them on the site forever. And let's say you generate, uh, let's say you do another $200 a month. And that I'm being very modest. I do print on demand, and I'm making... I mean, this is the Christmas holiday, but I'm making around $5,000 a month. So $200 is very accessible. It's very, you can accomplish $200 a month on print on demand pretty easily in my eyes. So $200 a month, every single month. So all of a sudden, you're generating, I don't know if you can see this. So you're generating a collection of $400 a month passively extra a month. Okay, and it, 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 it sometimes it shimmies, it goes up and it goes down. It could be $350 one month, it could be $450 another month. Well, you decide, I am not done with generating more passive income. I'm generating a third. Okay, and let's say you do... Uh, a YouTube channel and you're making ad revenue off your YouTube channel 
And let's say, we'll do another 200. Okay, so another 200. So all of a sudden, you're making $600 a month passively. Okay, right here. 600 a month passively. Okay. The, the thing here is, you keep adding on to this passive income and it keeps growing. I'm talking snowball. It keeps growing and then you it gets to the point where you've learned so much that generating an extra 200, ex, an extra 100 is like nothing. And I've gotten to that point. I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I could probably generate an extra $200 in two weeks. It just requires me to work very, very hard or to hire someone who can do it for me. I know what needs to be done, and it's based all on my taking action and seeing what the results are. So, let's say you get to the point where you have multiple streams generating $1,000 a month, okay? You've done YouTube channels, print-on-demand companies, a websites that is generating ad space. Uh, you could also write articles that are, are generating ad revenue as well. So you're generating $1,000 a month, and I'm well past that. I'm generating that a month, easy. And, okay, so $1,000 a month. Well, you want to diversify. A lot of people, like Mark Cuban... And Grant Cardone, they think diversification of income is a stupid thing to do. I disagree with them. I, I respect both of them, but I disagree with them strongly. Diver being diverse with your income sources is the best way to protect it, and it's a way to grow it. Now, I understand that they want you to focus on certain industries and grow that, and that's all nice and good. But I love having something different here and having different there, something different there because if one industry goes down in flames, I've got all these other sources. I, I, I like that. I like that idea and I think it helps me grow a little bit and becomes a little bit more I, – I get to see what markets are a little bit more stable than others. So that's why I like this diversification. Some people don't. Whatever. You know, I don't care what they think. And you shouldn't care what they think. So $1,000 a month, guess what? I've got all these different streams, website, print on demand, YouTube, uh, article writing. I'm making income off of it. Okay, I'm not saying this is going to come overnight. It's going to take work. You have to put in the hours. and But it will grow if you do put in the work and you see results. You can kind of shimmy from that. But $1,000 a month, let's say I want to buy a rental property. And... I can take some of that passive income that's just churning out money and I want to, let's say I get a property, I have to pay, I don't know what, what you could get for a mortgage. You know, it doesn't have to be a big property, but let's say it's going to cost about $200 uh, a month for the mortgage. No, let's, let's say about $500. So we split the $1,000 we're getting a month, 500 for... A, a rental property. See, we got the thousand down here. Goes to five hundred. So we're spending five hundred. We still got another five hundred. Well, guess what? We're gonna rent out that property. For we're gonna rent out a whole house. Let's say we rent out a whole house for about eight ninety five. So eight ninety five, and that's being pretty considerate for a, a decent home. That's that's a pretty good monthly rate. We could even go higher, really. Uh, it depends on property taxes and everything like that. But so you're paying the five hundred dollars. You you get the five hundred dollars um, back in the eight ninety five. Let's say nine hundred. So you're making about four hundred dollars per month on from the rent. And this this is why passive income is deadly. Because that money just keeps building, and the, the trick here is you have to keep reinvesting it. It's either reinvesting the money or the time. And I'm going to tell you right now, reinvesting the money is probably your best choice. Because 
time, the money leverages your time. It allows you to to have more incomes in different areas. It, time requires attention in different areas. And certainly to get the ball rolling, I think people are going to have to put up a little bit of time into their businesses. But once they get that, I think that nice thousand dollars a month passively, uh, you can really do some damage either investing in, in rental properties or equipment and renting it out. You, it just takes a level of creativity and multiple streams of income. So uh, I, I hope this video has helped you out. I would like you to leave a comment below if you have any questions about multiple streams of income and how powerful they truly can be. I'd like you to leave a comment below. Uh, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do videos like these all the time where we talk about multiple streams of income, different online businesses, different businesses in general. And really we want to kind of harvest a, a nice community together of entrepreneurs and business leaders out there. We're also going to be having a podcast coming up uh, in the upcoming new year. And it's going to be a lot of me and my friends who are also entrepreneurs kind of talking and, and taking questions online and, and kind of uh, engaging these different uh, ideas of business. So definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment and like this video, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.